an outfit is never complete without accessories. In fact, the one and only Oliver Palermo says that accessories are the best opportunity to make an outfit our own. I'm gonna give you three tips in this video about how to style those necklaces without getting a little bit tacky and I'm also gonna show you my favorite pieces. If you want to go for personalized jewelry, that's the best way to go. You're finding a unique piece that really says how you are, really is you in a bracelet or you in a necklace, it's absolutely amazing. So go for those. Second rule, don't overdo it. Less is more and accessories are not an exception. Even with classy pieces, you can still be overdone. So focus earrings, necklace or bracelets to go be really really sure or if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous try to keep things that are away so maybe if you have some more statement necklaces which can be bigger pearls that's already pretty statement piece go for a bracelet instead of a necklace they are not that together layering is such a fun thing of fashion and accessorizing all of us who really really love accessories layering is a blank page that we can put our personal right there. But I would say that a good layering piece always includes some pearls or something more neutral like a light dainty chain, uh, something like that. So go for very simple pieces because you can always add a statement necklace and make it more bold that color. monogram necklace is definitely one of my favorites. I got it from Etsy and I will link it down below. The next piece I'm showing you is a king necklace as you can see. It's really inspired by Blair Waldorf and Gossip Girl and all those icons of mine and it's such a classy piece and works amazing layer with the pearl necklace that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. Grandma gave me some of her jewelry pieces, so these are my vintage one and most of my favorite. We have this really dainty pearly necklace that goes with everything and screams classic. And also my pearl necklace, this is also, was also from my grandma's and I really really love it. Now let's hop onto the more bold pieces. This one, besides being one of my favorites, is also it's very Baroque inspired, reminds me of a queen or something and I really really like it with simple color shirts. This one right here also has a um, retro inspired pattern on it that is so beautiful. As a double chain, I still would learn a whole new de detail. And last but not least, I have this one from H&M. Again, this one has the layering already done and played up and it's such a fun, it's such a fun piece that I couldn't pass down and not buy. I want to show you a really quick easy way to for your necklace. And it's using a hanger, you just, just put it there and hang them in your closet or you know whatever you can. I have this in my closet and it's so easy for me to choose which one I want each morning. I just do this with the statement necklace, but I guess you could also do it with the dainty ones, but I'm afraid those ones would get tangled. And it's such an amazing idea that my mom got. So those were all my favorite pieces and leave me in the comments below which one, which one was your favorite piece and if you have I, an amazing wool statement necklace that I can buy online, let me the, leave me the link down below. Hope you guys like it. Bye!